Hey everyone, have I here be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we are doing another edition of Best Teams on Global. This is the May 2022 edition. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And of course, May was a pretty big month for both versions of the game, right? We had a worldwide dual celebration and uh, yeah, I think uh, a lot has changed within the Best Teams. Uh, but we'll see who ranks on top. So let's go ahead and dive in initially to the disclaimer here, which is the term best teams is my opinion and is purely subjective. There's no official tier list or best teams ranking on the Kotsky or Bandai. Any references or resource sources will be linked in the description below. So how I rank my teams, uh, as I always explain here, I look at a multitude of different things in leader skill, damage output, survivability. Passive essay specials, links, categories, bench flexibility, very important. Game mode effectiveness, another important piece there. Mission options, and then overall gameplay. So a lot of people do ask me about game mode effectiveness. How does that work? And what are the numbers that are on the bottom of the screen? So a lot of people get confused there. So I'll explain a little bit more here. Uh, when you see 855117, what that means is it can comp uh, the team that you're looking at, the whole entirety of the team, not necessarily the thing that you're seeing on the screen, but because of the bench of flexibility, you can run a team that can complete a super battle road on eight different categories um, and or categories. And then you have the um, the class and the uh, type advantage, right? And then extreme super battle row. There's five here. So eight, five is representing to um, those uh, those events there. And then you have no item runs that go along with that, that, you know, for me, it's uh, very, very strong that you can no item run super battle roads. So that's important there. The five one one. That represents the Legendary Goku event, GT, and Vegeta missions that you can complete. So the first five would be considered, you know, five missions being able to uh, accomplish on the original Fighting Legend Goku, and then the Fighting Legend Goku DT, there's one, and then fi Fighting Legend Vegeta, there's another one. Infinite Dragon Ball History, those are the missions that you can complete, uh, seven, uh, with the team that you have uh, available as the leader. And of course, you get the World Tournament tag if you can actually, you know, grind World Tournament with the team here. But who cares about that now these days? I do also look at some other events like the um, like the God Event, the Ultimate Clash, Battlefield 2.0, uh, Collection of Epic Battles, and then just overall Dokkan, uh, playing Dokkan in general. So. Now, of course, Red Zone will be coming out pretty soon. That will change a lot, being that it is, you know, considerably difficult uh, to complete. So it's going to be in the in the realm of Super Battle Roads and Extreme Super Battle Roads. So uh, that will be something definitely in consideration with all the teams. Now, let's talk also about what's currently looking like when it comes to ranking these teams. And, you know, we do have kind of three tiers that we're looking at now these days in the current meta. We have the 200% leaders. We have, um, you know, 170% leaders that can do a lot of game mode effect from this like 11 super battle roads and, and even even more than that a strong bench and strong flexibilities and then everything else so i think if you if the team can't get to like 170 11 those teams there and it's about three or four teams there that can even have a argument for the top spot above 200 percent um, leader skill type of units but there are these combinations that i'm doing that's kind of merging teams together that uh, the reason why i have certain 200 percent leads maybe further than than you guys maybe would rank them uh a standalone right so uh, when you're looking at you know last month's rankings here's here's april's rankings here um, you can see the 200%, the sole 200% on Global, which was Majo Vegeta, stood on top there due to the fact, you know, being that it was the new meta being introduced early uh, in the game and not until the anniversary, uh, I kind of gave it a huge advantage there. But I did do some miscalculations. They can actually do more game mode effectiveness than I thought, and I was actually playing the game more with that team, and we'll see where, exactly where that lands this go around. So uh, this is last month's list. Now let's go ahead and dive into this month's best teams on global may 2022 and then see where everything lands so let's first start off with a couple honorable mentions namely the gotenks team the youth and special pose team um it can do a lot <laughs> it can do actually do 10 super battle rows really eight well every the other you know the other ones are going to be very difficult to actually actually do and then you can actually complete five super battle uh, extreme super battle roads as well so this it can it has a lot of game mode effect in this but i do want to just provide a shout out um being that the the team in of itself isn't all that great um 
you know, not as strong flexibility as what you see in the other teams, but definitely with the 10 and 5 resume on here uh, deserves an honorable mention. I haven't talked about them in a very long time because they haven't broken through to the top 10 yet, and I don't see them doing so anytime soon. The other honorable mention is going to be Realm of Gods, right? Realm of Gods. It just hasn't had any upgrades any in a long, long time. So since six year anniversary, and we're coming up against a seven year pretty soon, and uh, still amazing team, right? Definitely the reason why I'm, I'm making an honorable mention uh, was in the top ten for a very, very long time. It does have a few hundred seventy percent leaders, but the best leader is really considerable. Is the uh, Realm of Gods one hundred sixty percent UI uh, UI Goku here? Great resume nine five five one one six. So nothing really bad to say about it is just i think these other teams that i'm going to be talking about are are better so let's now go into the top 10 list all right so the top 10 list after the honorable mentions here let's dive into the first um number 10 spot so the number 10 spot is brand new to the top 10 was an honorable mention i believe last month and that is going to be battle of fate accelerated battle namely with the super saiyan 3 goku now we know that you can run a, a battle of fate with the strength um boo unit but we'll talk about him later on uh, but yeah, this team is great. You know, good resume with uh, game mode effect into this of 854017. Pretty solid there. But look at that top, top uh, um, main rotations, right? You do have the introduction of the strength exchange Goku and Gohan on the, uh, on the team now. So you can add them to the main rotation. You can switch it out for, uh, you know, MUI Goku. You can switch it out for a multitude of different things. Uh, you can actually run the AGL cell on this as well. So there is some variation when it comes to bench and flexibility. So uh, I guess it's an option if you wanted to do that. But coming in at number 10, not going to talk too much about this team because we have a lot to cover in the rest of the top 10. So is the Battle Fate Accelerated Battle with the uh, physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So let's go ahead and move into the number 9 spot, which actually fell one spot. You know, I, it was, it was going to be its time, and this was the time where it lost ground to the one that's above the uh, 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 this ranking here in the number 8 spot. But number 9 is going to go to the Strength Bojack Space Traveling Warriors Time Travelers at 150. And yes, Cell, you can use Cell, Transforming Cell on this team here, but only at 150, so I don't recommend it. And the reason why this team is still just around is it just is mad support, right? It supports each other. It's It was like the quasi 200% team uh, because of all the support. So uh, you have solid resume 854104, World Tournament Approved. And again, look at the supports. Look at it. Everybody just supports itself, you know, and just and you got um, LR Full Power Frieza just killing everybody, right? So you got support here, you got support there, and just wrecking fools. And, uh, you know, that being one of the best units in the game, uh, that's why it deserves uh, any any time you can be on a team here, it's going to be really solid. And, on, and when I want to show you a little bit more about bench and flexibility. Look at this weird team that you can run. It's a, like a Universal Survival Saga team that you can run on the, the Strength Bojack. And, uh, yeah, again... Um, uh, you know, very, very good bench. So, oops, with that, coming in at number 10 spot or some number nine spot is the Space Traveling Warriors uh, Strength Bojack. So, the team that finally got above this, because this was trailing Space Traveling Warriors for uh, a f several months actually, is Sworn Enemies. So, finally, what's better than one full power Frieza on a team? Well, it's two full power Friezas. And uh, as you can see here, I did put the cell as a rotation on main if you wanted to. Uh, but of course, really, you should just be rocking two full power freezes as your main. So um, the reason why I ended up actually hopping over these Space Traveling Warriors, you know, the bench flexibility here isn't all that great. It got better because of the cell uh, being on this team, but it still needs a lot of work. It did increase its super battle road to nine so it's nine five four one one and only two infinite dragon ball uh history so that's not favorable in that fashion but you know this team on the legendary goku event just 
just destroys it. <laughs> so I don't think there's a better team if you want to do a speed run on that. So that I have to give them some extra points on there as well. So coming in at number eight, I don't think it's any surprise since you can run two, two full power freezes. Uh, is the Sworn Enemies Planet Namek Saga team here. So coming in number seven, uh, staying strong, right? Staying strong. It did get an upgrade in easy, the Strength EZA Ultimate Gohan um, and its Saviors, Hybrid Saints, primary Hybrid Saints, really what we're looking at here. And uh, yeah, you know, what can I say? Defensive team um, can have some offense here. Uh, of course, if you have the Super Saiyan uh, Namek Goku on there, you're going to you know do some damage against extreme team units. So, uh, yeah, I think this is still a very, very strong top team. If you want to know what item runs something, Hybrid Saiyans is probably the way to go. 942015, you know, a, a good resume there. So uh, you can run a full Trunks team here, right? And, uh, of course, uh, a lot of support as well. So this is a full support team, uh, same as the Space Traveling Warriors. And, um, yeah, very, very, very powerful. So coming in number seven. Uh, is uh, the Tech Gohan, the everlasting Tech Gohan in Savers and primarily Hybrid Saiyans. All right, so now let's talk about when we when we talk about levels, right? So we had everything else. Now we're going to move into the teams that you can consider could be in the top echelon or even I would say even some of you might even say that's the it's the best team in the game right so it has an argument for that so let's start with actually number six which is the first time this team has ever found out the top five this is how crazy the top is, is looking like and that's Universal Survival Saga and representative universe seven so look at this crazy resume right eleven seven seven one zero nine and it's not the top spot, but I guess you can say it's arguably the top spot uh, because of the game mode effect of this, but you know, it didn't really get any I mean, upgrades of recently. It's the same thing as Realm of Gods, but it was so strong, it's still gonna hang around. So you have 1177109, but look at this. Look at if you're running um, the uh, Evolution Vegeta, 12-7, 12-7, 5 and uh, uh, you know, great combos. You got that revive mechanic that's on here, which is amazing. Uh, the uh, leader flexibility is one of the best in the game, and that's with, uh, uh, you know, this guy no one uses that much. But yes, you can run Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Ken Goku, and then you have Evolution Vegeta, then you have um, uh, MUI Goku, and then you also still have 177, the OG. You know, it is still actually the, the top flat leader skill at 177%. So... Um, and that, and all these have gained um, extreme super battle road stages with the uh, representative of universe seven. So, but all of these are really, really powerful. Again, I would say some of you guys may say number six. This is like my 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 number one, my number top. And hey, like I said, there's an argument for that. Um, that's where these levels come come in when we're discussing uh, this top ten here. So, anyway, so coming in at the number six spot, crazy enough, number six spot is representative universe seven and um, the universal survival saga. So staying in the number five, so dropping into the number five spot here, and uh, I don't think this team has ever left the top five, and that is Kamehameha. One of the top resumes in the game, if not the best resume in the game, is uh, 1357019. Um, yeah, what can I say? Kamehameha is like every Dokkan Festival exclusive is his, uh, uh, or LR, Dokkan Festival exclusive, is a Kamehameha, virtually. A lot of, uh, you know, every, like, Goku units like Kamehameha, like, primarily, not all of them, but a lot of them, 99% of them. So, uh, it's going to be good. <laughs> so, what can I say? So, Kamehameha is good. Uh, uh, that's not news for anybody. And uh, now, with the two new units that you see here, uh, look at this rotation, right? These mo rotations comparable to uh, these uh, these, this two right here, which is fantastic, but now you can run the Exchange Goku and the uh, LR Gosun as well. So top tier Kamehameha, again, one of the best resumes out there, but still in the number five spot in the top 10 list. So coming in number four, and I would say a lot of people will say that this is the number one team based off of, again, my criteria of game mode effectiveness and things of that nature and flexibility to be... Um, more specific flexibility is going to be the key, and that is Pure Saiyans. But Pure Saiyans stays uh, stays up here. Oh, I, I was thinking like uh, thirteen five seven zero one nine was the best. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. 
13-7-6146 and World Tournament approved. Okay, never mind. This is the best uh, game mode effect of this unit leader that you can run, and that's the uh, uh, Transforming Evolution Vegeta, um, uh, the EZA right here, right? So he's off main rotation, right? You're, you're not going to really use them. You're using him for the leader skill and for the flexibility of the main combos as you can see here like uh, you, you saw this main combo on the kamehameha but there's more right there's this combination there's the vegeta combination of all combination there if you don't have the super saiyan uh or sorry the evolution transforming um easy a vegeta well then you have a secondary leader here right you have this leader here in super vegeta which is fantastic you can run a full broly team you can run kaelin khalifa you can run some random pure saiyans on here so i would say the only negative when it comes to pure saiyans right is lack of support you really only have the uh uh you know you have goku there but uh is is they need to easy a this unit is uh the uh, paragus and Broly there, so if they easy a him and make him a little bit more reasonable to get wrecked in uh, in hard difficulties, that would be fantastic for this team here. So that's really the only negative in Pure Saiyans, but the bench is just incredible. And yes, that right there, thirteen seven six one four six is the best game mode effect in this resume in the game. So. Why is it number four? Well, we talked about it, right? We talked about the levels, the levels. And again, the argument of 170 and like 13, et cetera, et cetera, could be in the number 10 spot jumping over 200%. But 200%, yes, there's limitations to it, but there is combinations to my madness, right? There are 170 leaders that I've combined together with the 200% leader that makes sense the reason why they are now the top top teams in the global in the global game so coming to number three is the previous number one it is the majibu saga vegeta's family into gifted warriors 200 percent fantastic fantastic um team that you can run here a multitude of different combinations um no atom run a ton of stuff and it actually can do nine super battle runs. I actually had seven in the last video because I was like, well, you can't run this. So I ended up actually doing all out struggle. I ended up doing, um, what was the other one? Final Trump card, I believe, that um, was on there. I think it was that one. I, I tr I'm trying to remember which was the other two that I was able to do that uh, I was like, oh, I don't think I can, I can do that, but I was able to actually complete it. So with 953127, that is strong enough with the 200% leader skill to take the number three spot. And hey, I'm a Vegeta fanboy, so it gets an extra, you know, a little bit of subjective points here. So, uh, but still, look at the bench, look at the flexibility. You know, you can run, you know, uh, focusing on uh, uh, on just a v variations here. You can focus on just all Vegetas and a double support, or you can run more of the Majibu Saga. Uh, units and off rotation as the main rotation here. You can go off rotation and run something like this with the uh, Trunks and Goten combination where you can actually activate with that Trunks the um, uh, the additional um, uh, damage reduction, right? So, uh, so yeah, really, really good team. So the reason why this, you know, jumped, you know, Pure Saiyans and the other ones is because I said I merged teams together, right? This is Majin Buu Saga, you know, primarily speaking. So this team here, Battle Wits Majibu Saga, I lump it together with this team here, right? So, and yes, you know, this is not going to get the Gifted Warriors boost at 200%, but in, in accordance to how I'm ranking teams here, I'm going to consider this the Majibu Saga team, and this one here with the Majibu Vegeta Family Gifted Warriors boost on here, but combining into one. So if you combine all that, this team is absolutely amazing right uh, if i were to really separate each and every one of them i will have a list of like 30 teams out of the ridiculous amounts of teams so merging these is the reason why i have the 200 percent leads uh above and beyond the only the 170 so coming number three is the maja vegeta the maja vegeta here um as the lowest ranking in the 200 percent leader so um, come in number two and one, you probably would know what these two are because it's kind of recency bias, right? It's the latest two units that ended up dropping on the global version of the game and on JP as well. And uh, come in number two is actually going to be Cell here, right? So it's coming number two, Cell, 74413, and World Tournament isn't as strong as you might say, oh, well, that's a really, really bad resume. Well, I'm going to explain to you why because of the merging of everything. 
uh, actually I'll show you right now so I can even talk further because of Android Cell Saga with the trunks here, 1156106. Game mode effectiveness is still strong overall with the Android Cell Saga. But this is Android Cell Saga power absorption and Android's 200%. So you want to run it all together and this is a really, really nice team. Synergizes very well and just overall super super strong now i did put the eza on the cell already we know it's going to be better than it was so i did put them on the main rotation on this here uh this will be coming out probably before the information does drop for the physical eza cell but we should know it should be very good here um again very fun to run as well i, I really enjoy playing this team here especially if you don't even want to run cell on main rotation guess what you can run something like this right the androids um 17 and 18 with 19 and 20 together just a, an incredible rotation right so uh and at 200 percent even better and uh yes when it comes to flexibility you can run all the android cell saga super units on here but you're not going to get the 200 percent because they're not androids but it is an option running this team i don't know why you would but yes you can do this here now again this is merging the number two spot here is merging with the entrusted will android cell saga with agl trunks which is again uh, an incredible incredible team that you can run very very flexible a lot of um actually why do i have a revive right here let me remove that uh a lot of uh, main combos uh, changes like right here. Oh, there's a revive there with a UI Goku that's with Entrusted Will. Uh, and then, but if you just focus on Android Cell Saga, these are the different teams that you can actually run again with 1156106. And I can I can let go the 74 on here on the resume for the transforming cell. So come in at number two. Maybe a little bit of recency bias, but I have a really good time with this team. Is the Android Cell Saga Power Absorber and Androids with the AGL Transformation Cell, and of course coming in at number one, um, probably no surprise here, and that's 200% Exchange Goku and Gohan. Really strong guys, really strong. Yes, um, not the best first position <laughs> team that you want to run. Uh, unit that you want to run here, but you know tech go uh, Gohan is on here is they sh I should have put tech Gohan on the list here I actually didn't do that on here I think I'm missing one of the slides that I wanted to play like tech Gohan. if you wanted like some defense You have Goku's family on here Goku's family You can run a multitude of different units that are just tremendous all the Gohans all the Gotens all the Goku's so that at just 170% alone is Just amazingly strong and you can do Super Saiyans yeah, um, uh, really, really powerful there. And generally speaking, all the Super Saiyan units are Android Cell Saga to get the 200% boost. And with all the new units that you're able to run, it, it's very, very strong here. Now, of course, this unit can actually match up with this unit over here, but uh, you can run maybe a little bit different rotation like this. Uh, and if you want to run more of a support type team, here's all the support that you can actually run um, with the triple support onto uh, those main rotations up there as well. Now, if you want to take it off rotation, it makes sense, right? Uh, if you want some more defense involved and you want uh, the exchange Goku and Gohan as a floater, it makes a lot of sense here. You can run something like this. Again, I don't know reason, I don't know why I did not put Tech Gohan on any of this, but Tech Gohan is something that you can run. So you can run like Heart Virus Goku and Tech Gohan on a main rotation if you want to just tank everything, right? So, um, so there you go. Now, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, you can run this team. Totally forgot. Yeah, you can run this team as well, being Super Saiyans as the leader scout 170. So don't forget that. So Goku's family, Super Saiyans all together. You can run the top, you know, top LRs in the game uh, for sure here. And again, the reason why we're able to rank this as number one, it's merging two other top 10 teams. And finally, you're like, where's GoBros? Yeah, that's here's where GoBros is, right? GoBros has now merged because it's Siblings Bond's Goku's family. But primarily, Goku's family is the reason why Siblings Bond held up as long as it did. So I'm merging GoBros with uh, this, uh, this team here. And along with this team, the Super Saiyan team with Legendary Existence, right? The Super Saiyan team. <laughs> 
uh, it was like the number four spot. So if the number four spot in, the, in a top 10 team is now merging with a 200% lead, it makes a lot of sense that this is going to be the number one team um, with all that going for it. And even with an amazing, um, a nice, strong game mode effectiveness, Redsway in 94500, unfortunately, and then seven. Uh, super strong there. So that's that's where I came up with, right? So this is the summary for the top teams and the and my consideration of the best teams on global right now. Coming in number ten is a Super Saiyan three physical and accelerated battle and fate and, and battle of fate. Um, you have uh, space driving warriors in the number nine spot. You have sworn enemies in the number eight spot. You have what I was just talking about, Tech Gohan, uh, Tech Gohan, and the hybrid Saiyans in the number seven spot. Universal Survivor Saga and uh, Representative Unit 7 drop into the number 6 spot. Uh, Kamehameha staying strong in the number 5. Uh, a lot of people's number 1 in Pure Saiyans in number 4. Then you have your three 200% leaders in the best teams here. Uh, Imaja Vegeta, number 3. Uh, AGL Cell, number 2. And then the Exchange Goku and Gohan at the number one spot here super saiyans and goku's family it's it's hard to beat at 170 across the board and then you add a little bit of 200 percent there it's strong enough but we know what's coming soon we got one more month um so we have the june top 10 list but then we all pretty much know who the top teams are going to be at the seven year anniversary so of course we look forward to that but anyway that's another best teams in the books here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit shorter than usual, which is probably good. I mean, like ramble on and on and on and on. So with that, if you are new to my channel, now I have to find that slide here. Where is that? Oh, there it is. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dokoning. We'll catch you next time. Later.